Hi everyone and welcome to the Back 40 Feet where we talk about suburban, urban, and patio gardening. And today I am still battling my nemesis, the squash vine borer. So in the spring I had put up traps to trap the male squash vine borer. I also put up a summer weight fabric to keep the caterpillars and the moths off the vines. So I'm looking at my squash today and out of six of my vines, two are attacked by the squash vine borer. Four are fine and I'm well past the time of the year that they're going to lay eggs so I don't have to worry about those four. So far it looks like none of the cucumbers and none of the watermelons and cantaloupe are affected. So. I have four zucchini plants and half of them have squash vine borer damage. Uh, two of the plants that are affected are on the same side of the garden as each other compared to the other two. So I think that there just must have been a little bit of a lapse in the defense against the squash vine borer. As discouraging as it is that they got two of my vines, I'm not giving up yet. There are ways that you can potentially recover your vines, and that's what I'm going to try today. This is an example of um, the bacillus that is very effective at killing caterpillars, but does not affect other bugs in the garden, and it is completely organic and will not affect any humans. This one happens to be in a powder. And you can use this up until the day of harvest. It is not going to affect you or any animals. This is a liquid version of the same thing. Um, again, I don't have any sponsorship or anything. These just happen to be what I'm, I have in my, my shed. But you can use a spray to put uh, the bacillus on your plants as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the powder cover the infected vines and then I'm going to cover the infected vines with dirt to try to see if the plants will root themselves um, and be able to survive past the damage. And when you zoom way in, right there, there's the damage. You can see it is a borehole and here you can see the channels that the vine borer created. Um, you know, I could go in there and pick out the, the borers, but I'm just gonna try to kill them with the thergicide. This is the other plant, and here you can see the damage that they've done. And so far, it still looks like a pretty healthy vine, but it's only a matter of time before they take over. I'm hoping that given the size of these two stalks that I should be able to uh, save these zucchinis. So I've treated them with the bacillus and now you can see that all the damage that had been done on these vines are now under the dirt. Um, there's the other one there and I went even past the damage in hope that the zucchinis will send out additional roots. Uh, typically they're a plant that is very easy to root so I'm hoping that this works. Um, otherwise the vines are going to be dead in a couple of days so we'll find out either way. A quick check on the zucchini that I hopefully rescued from the squash vine borer and it looks great. It's nice and perky, happy leaves, uh, has some fruit in there, and it doesn't look like it's wilting. Let's check on the other one. This one's also doing great. Uh, nice happy leaves. It's kind of actually grown quite a bit since I uh, rescued it. so. I think I might have been able to get past the borer damage simply by covering with dirt after being treated with some bacillus. <laughs> 